Okay, guys, welcome back to All Nerd Everything. And today, as you can tell by my thumbnail, I wanted to discuss the recently the the recent news of James Gunn posting the picture of Superman and Crypto, the Super Dog, which was released maybe a few a few weeks ago. A lot of people are bitching and complaining about the dog not being about crypto not being the not being the exact breed of species, but I don't really care about that. I'm just glad that we're embracing the goofiness and silliness of, you know, the comic books and actually trying to, you know, give fans something to be excited about. But of course there's gonna be some complainers I mean, crypto definitely does need a shower from the picture, but I'm glad that James Gunn is doing something whimsical, fun with the Superman character because we have not had a good Superman film since the original, in my opinion. That might be a hot take, but I don't really care because... That's why I'm doing this video to discuss the last Superman film that was released, last Superman solo film that that was released, and that was Man of Steel in 2013, directed by Zack Snyder. Now, the Dark Knight trilogy, in my opinion, was a blessing and a curse because, yeah, it gave us great villains and, you know, it made Christian Bale who he was and shot him up in the atmosphere and made a lot of other great, you know, actors. The fallout of that, the curse of that, is that a lot of people have been trying to replicate that same formula for what for what worked really well with the Dark Knight trilogy and trying to replicate it for their own stories and it has not worked out in their favor, especially for Man of Steel. I do not want to see a depressed, dark, lonely Superman. Now, when this film initially came out, I did enjoy it. But when I started getting more into comics, reading more into Superman, who he was, starting, starting to watch a lot more Superman animated things that he's in, whether it's the movies or his own TV series or Justice League or whatever, this is one of the worst interpretations of Superman. And I can easily tell Zack Snyder knows nothing about comic books. Just watch his interview with Joe Rogan. It seemed like he just skimmed over the Dark Knight Returns comic book and he didn't actually pay attention and read it at all because he he even misinterpreted a panel on in the graphic novel, which I don't know how you do that if you did read the graphic novel, but whatever. Man of Steel is just, oh my God, it is a huge mess all over the place. I feel so bad for Henry Cavill because he really loved this character and they could have done so many great things with him. But taking a gloomy, dark, depressed Superman and trying to put him in the real world. Ugh. Ugh. I just want to throw up all over the place. Now, first things first. The, the first 10 minutes or so is spent on Krypton. And we do not need to spend that much time on Krypton. We already know what happens. You can just, you know, fill us in later or probably do like flashbacks. But then then again, sometimes that feels lazy in my opinion. But, I mean, do something different. I mean, you could have had, you could have already established Superman as a hero, had him, you know... Open the movie up with him saving people and telling kids to stay off drugs, stay in school. But no, we spend close to 10 minutes on Krypton. 
on Krypton for close to 10 minutes. The pacing is extremely slow. It takes all, close to an hour before we see Zod again. And it just this just feels like Batman Begins all over again. Except the formula for Batman Begins worked a whole lot better than in Man of Steel. And Jonathan, Jonathan Kent is quite possibly one of, this is one of the worst betrayals of him. I mean, him sacrificing himself, that, that whole twister scene made me sick to my stomach. And I mean that in the most disrespectful way that I can. I absolutely hated that scene. And Clark is so unlikable. Like, he is really unlikable. Why am I hating Superman so much? I should not hate him at all. Superman represents hope and peace. And he's very kind-hearted and brave and humble. But I feel no sense of that. In this movie, I feel like I'm in danger all the time. And I can't believe so many people actually came to defense when it came to Superman and Zod practically murdering, you know, half of Metropolis. And the worst part is, is that we barely got a fallout to that at all. Dawn and Justice, they acknowledged it but they dropped it like immediately after that there were no repercussions to his actions superman would never ever do something like that and for Zack snyder to have someone like superman destroy a whole city to make it look like it got hit by a nuke is absolutely mind-boggling and it just really aggravates me and pisses me off henry cavill and amy adams have no chemistry at all whatsoever i'm sorry great actors but i i'm not feeling what i'm supposed to see on screen when it comes to clark and lois's relationship and Clark, there's barely any focus on him when it comes to him as a reporter. Most of the movie, he does not feel human at all. Even though Superman has these incredible powers and can do all these great things, there's still a human aspect of him. And there is none of that there. This whole movie, it, he feels like kal posing as Clark Kent. He does not feel like Clark Kent at all. I get no sense of that because we, for most of the movie, we see him as Superman. And even when he's, you know, hanging out with his parents or whatever, he he's kind of a dick. I mean, his last, the last thing he said to Jonathan was you know before he sacrificed himself which was stupid was that you know you aren't my father which by the way clark would never ever say something like that that is completely ridiculous i absolutely hate him i don't know how many times i need to state that but it's it's true the only reason a lot of people like this movie is because the the visual effects, the action sequences, the score, and yeah, that might be it. The, the cinematography is cool too, but other than that, story-wise, there is nothing. The characters are unlikable, Main, especially Superman. You should not have a Boy Scout character like Superman being the most unlikable person in the film. The villains are definitely badass. I was definitely rooting for 
prefer uh what's her name? Fay I personally I prefer Fayora over over Zod. And the whole ending scene with Superman snapping Zod's neck, I absolutely hated that. I still don't support that. I it's completely ridiculous. This literally shitted all over Superman and everything that he represents. And the whole the bus scene with Jonathan telling Clark that he maybe he should have let the kids drown. Yeah, Jonathan would never say something like that. Ever. They are Jonathan and Martha are the reasons are the reason that Clark became Superman in the first place. So yeah, this movie if I talk about it anymore, I'm going to get even more pissed off than I already am. But yeah, that's my that's my thoughts as Man of Steel. I hope James Gunn, you know, washes that bad memory out of my head. But let me know what you guys think. Did you guys like Man of Steel? Did you hate it? Are you excited for James Gunn's version of Superman? Leave your thoughts down below. Until then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.